The reaction to The Witcher Blood Origin is worse than Netflix could have possibly predicted. After dealing with months of backlash from fans, after Henry Cavill announced that he was leaving the show, that he would be leaving his dream role as Geralt because the people associated with the Netflix Witcher series, the writers, everybody there didn't respect the source material. So he was done. They tried their best to hype up Blood Origin, the cringe identity politics filled prequel that if you thought The Witcher diverts from the source material, just get a load of this series. But it's of course been a disaster for them. The Witcher Blood Origin hits new low for Netflix as negative reviews pile on. And uh, even though there's been some interesting things going on, I've had a lot of people reaching out to me saying I'm having trouble posting my one star review for Witcher Blood Origin. It's been nine, ten hours and it won't let me post it. It won't approve my post. Very strange that we've seen it tick up a couple percentage points, but is still sitting at the lowest rated Netflix original series of all time. And now we have the people involved with this garbage essentially begging, pleading for a second season, which is just laughable. Could The Witcher Blood Origin return for season two? Series boss teases future of characters. I don't think anybody's asking for that. In fact, I imagine that Netflix is kind of in panic mode over how poorly this is doing. Something that premiered right after Christmas. With all the hype and all the expectations of The Witcher franchise, people expected it to do pretty well. But it was number one on Netflix for one singular day until it fell off again. And in fact, just a couple days after its release, take a look at where it is right now. It has fallen down to fifth and is now falling behind things that have been out for quite a while before The Witcher Blood Origin came out. Because quite frankly, the people that are giving this a chance aren't sticking around for it. They're not watching anymore because once they get in, once you get like 10 or 20 minutes into the first episode, pretty much everyone can tell it's not for them. But that's not stopping Netflix showrunners, the people associated with this, the actors, everybody begging and pleading, let us come back, we'd love to do another season. Nobody wants that. The Witcher Blood Origin takes viewers back over a thousand years before the events of Henry Cavill's original show, revealing what the world was like before humans conquered and elves were still at the height of their power. Released on Boxing Day on Netflix, the show boasts a cast of talented actors from Michelle Yeoh, Sophia Brown, Lauren Sofurin, Francesca Mills, Who Novelli, and Sir Lenny Henry, as well as The Witcher star Joey Beatty. While it's described as a limited series, Metro were curious to ask showrunner Declan DeBara at the London premiere whether he would consider continuing the tale in some form in future, whether a possible season two or future spinoffs featuring familiar characters. We also spoke to several of the stars. Quote, there's a ton of characters I'd love to explore. There's a ton of storylines I'd love to explore, whether it be in anime or live action or comics, anything, Declan responded. I love this world. I would keep working at it in a heartbeat. When questioned further whether there were any characters in particular, he added anyone that survives. Now, he's talked about before that this was done as a limited series, but he he always had intentions to do more, to leave the door open for more storytelling because he thought people would want it. Yeah, I, I think uh, the jury's out. People don't want this. Everything else that has this low of a rating was immediately canceled. Now, obviously, this is a spinoff. This is a prequel. It's not one of the main Witcher series seasons. Season three is coming out soon. The last one that Henry Cavill was in. And it's going to be interesting to see how people feel about that. Because people are going to be pissed at Henry Cavill's leaving. They don't. They didn't want him to leave. That's the only reason they were sticking around. They're going to be mad at all the showrunners. But are they going to go? What? How are they going to feel about that last season is a really interesting thing. I'm sure we'll talk about that when it happens. But it's clear. Nobody wants more Blood Origin. And with it continuing to fall down in the top 10 in a pathetic manner, I can't imagine that Netflix is very happy either. When asked if she'd be open to reprising her role, Francesca replied, I'd run at the chance. Yeah, of course, I'd be first in line. I'd be like, please let me be in the next one. I'd love it. It would be awesome. Any excuse to work with these beautiful people again. Hugh outed, I absolutely love Brother Death, so to be given an opportunity just to step into his shoes one more time would be an absolute joy and pleasure. Like, there seems to be a lot wrong even with the production of this. It was originally supposed to be six episodes and they cut those out. If those didn't make the cutting room floor, if it was that bad that originally it was supposed to be six episodes, they decided to trim it up a little bit. Imagine how bad some of that shit was. Whether you're talking about special effects, the acting, the dialogue, the entire story, it's so 
unbelievably cringe. I didn't think that Witcher was great, certainly, but this is even a, a massive step down from what we saw from that original mainline series. During a recent interview, co-showrunner Lauren Hisrich explained that Declan purposely left characters in places where you want to know what happens next, including the plot point of uh, the, the black elf who's the key to everything becoming pregnant. Declan added, I thought it'd be great if we finished on this unresolved note. We don't know what happens to some of these characters but we fall in love with them a little. No, nobody did. And the fact that these guys are sitting out there essentially begging and telling anybody in the media, we'd love to do season two. Please let us do a season two. We want to do another season. Uh, I think the fans have spoken. No one's interested in a second season. The ratings are continuing to fall off for this show because, quite frankly, the people that do give it an opportunity absolutely despise it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.